सी बी एस ई दसवीं कक्षा के मैथमेटिक्स के पेपर में किस तरह की गलतियां होती हैं उस पर हम इस वीडियो में फोकस करेंगे विद मी इस कमला मैम मैथ्स टीचर हियर एट द आर्मी पब्लिक स्कूल आर के पुरम एन सिकंदराबाद मैम जैसे मैंने कहा सबसे ज़्यादा डर किस चैप्टर से लगता है और किस चैप्टर्स में ज़्यादातर गलतियाँ होती हैं और किस तरह की गलतियाँ होती हैं okay. मैथ्स uh, स्पेशली uh, जैसे बच्चों को लगता है कि अभी सिक्स क्लास ऑनवर्ड्स उनको एक फोबिया लग जाता है तो उनके लिए थोड़े चैप्टर्स होते हैं जो बहुत ही सिंपल लगते हैं लेकिन जैसे जैसे वो टेंथ में आते हैं थोड़े न्यू टॉपिक्स ऐड हो जाते हैं जिसमें जैसे कि ट्रिग्नोमेट्री है एंड दे हैव लाइक कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री तो कंटिन्यूस होता है लेकिन उसमें न्यू टॉपिक्स ऐड हो जाते हैं सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वॉट वी फील इज आई मीन चैलेंजिंग टॉपिक फॉर दैम अलॉन्ग विद दैट जोमेट्री जोमेट्री में भी थोड़े चैप्टर्स हैं जिसमें उनको प्रूव करना मुश्किल लगता है उसमें ऐसा होता है कि अप्लीकेशन पार्ट ज़्यादा होता है सो देर दे फाइंड इट लाइक वॉट स्टेप्स दे हैव टू फॉलो हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट सो फॉर दैट दे हैव टू रिमेंबर द थियरम्स एंड ऑल so explain so, with the help of an example as to what are the mistakes they make and yeah. what they should do in order to avoid yeah. mistakes so you want to uh, i mean uh, emphasize on the topics which are yeah in, in it, yeah yeah suppose if they uh, consider trigonometry so the trigonometric basic concept starts from class 10 and if they are not perfect with the concepts like uh, tree ratios trigonometric ratios and all that then the whole chapter is uh, i mean a challenging one so first of all they have to be very perfect with the uh, simple topics like Uh, what do we call as the abcd of trigonometry hmm. all the three ratios and uh, then comes the identities then they have the angles based on that and there there, there is a part where they have to uh, learn it as we say by heart it some topics some concepts then they will may find it easier but when they come to the concept of uh, applications of trigonometry what we call it as heights and distances hmm. then the children are unable to understand the statement of the question so there are few uh, uh, the language mathematical language where they have to understand the angle of elevation angle of depression and uh, from a point on a top of a, like they mention it they consider as the two objects a person standing on a top of a building observing uh, some objects on the ground and all that hmm. if they don't understand this language hmm. they fail to draw the correct figure as a result whatever they are doing is in vain so that is one thing which the child has to understand the meaning of the question and draw the figure for it mm. the if the child understands how to uh, draw the figure of that particular question then the half part of the solution is done taken care of yeah and coming to the triangles mm. so there they have uh, various theorems mm. now this year as the Uh, the syllabus is been like some topics have been deleted yeah. but still there are few theorems like the basic proportionality theorem and uh, we have the converse of the basic proportionality yeah. theorem so mera kehne ka matlab ye tha ki abhi uh, since there is uh, just about a month's time yeah. left now what should be the students uh, approach towards a subject like mathematics ki uh, you would suggest that they devote a specific yes. time to maths every day and practice as much or the focus should be more on understanding and remembering many of these theorems yeah cbsc as per the scoring uh, part mm. uh, cbsc concentrates on uh, remembering and understanding as a 43 marks mm. uh, and then coming to the application part which is 22 marks only mm. so uh, if the child understand uh, the basic concepts he will be able to score well mm. so uh, uh, like now there are a few points where they can score well in the board examination as the board exam uh, nation emphasis on the ncert book yes so the child has to be perfect with ncert book mm. so um, now what we are finding is uh, they move on to some refreshers and all that where there is a lot of information concepts other than the uh, what do you call the te- main textbook ncert textbook so uh, that also creates a phobia so what uh, we have to insist is ncert should be the key uh, book for them mm. they have to be perfect with each and every some of the ncert book exercise sum as well as the example sums so you are saying that at this time they should not kind of look at too yeah. many uh, sample paper uh... sample papers will be a help for the practice right. it will help them to uh, manage their time right so uh, but preparation preparing since the time is too less yes. so uh, what i suggest is textbook is the best hmm. examples hmm. and working on the 
sample papers. But apart from that, they either look at PYQs or they look at other sample paper, question paper, so that they can kind of understand yeah. and maybe do it in an exam kind of an atmosphere. Yes. Okay, mein, mein. Uh, at home also, they should have the practice before going for the board examination. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, two days uh, before the examination, they have to work out the sums of uh, like two, at least minimum two sample papers. That will help them to manage their time because the time is uh, uh, limited yes. there and uh, now the pattern is also changed so to go through across the pattern like before it was different now it is different they have mcqs more of mcqs 20 yeah. uh, yes. marks yes 20 questions uh, for MCQs. mcqs then they have two marks also three marks and uh, four marks uh, mm -hmm. which we call them as case based questions yes. and then they have the long answer type which are five marks yes so if they lose even one question of five marks mm -hmm. Now, uh, the so, marks. Yeah, that, that was my next question. So, when you are, when a student is preparing, and it's a above average kind of a student, should there be a different approach? Ki, merko MCQ ke liye is tarah se prepare karna hai, panch mark ke liye case based questions ke liye is tarah se prepare karna hai. What should be the different approach be like? Yeah, MCQs. Uh, there are different types of uh, questions asked. Mm -hmm. Maybe the concept is the same, mm. but the way they are asking the questions, what we have uh, seen the sample papers which are given by yeah. the CBSC. Yes. Yeah, there are some questions which requires application, I mean solving also. It's not like a direct question when they see uh, the question, they'll get the answer. They have to solve it. Yeah. So there are some certain type of questions for MCQ also. Uh, whereas five marks, uh, they can, I mean, guess what type of questions uh, can be asked from the chapter and all that. So, uh, and in fact, children find it five marks question which they can answer. If they can't answer the complete question, at least some part of the thing they can Steps do it. Ha, but MCQ what happens is, if they do it correctly, it's a sure and sure, uh, correct answer. Correct. If go, they go wrong in some calculation also, then uh, right. uh, they lose the mark. Right. So, what we suggest is MCQ should be attempted at the end because there are calculation parts in that. So, five marks where they are confident and they are familiar with it because most of them are from the textbook only. So, uh, like uh, trigonometry when you take, so all the statement problems, uh, they are from the textbook. So, they can attempt, at least not the complete question, but they can attempt, they can uh, score marks. Okay. And coming back to then, they can go back to the three marks, two marks. Okay. Then, so, uh, descending yeah, order is descending what you would order, Then case-based questions are also there. Hmm. There are three case-based questions, uh, which are simple. Hmm. Uh, there, it will be a case study given and based on that, they will yeah. be asking the questions. So, pre-board examinations are in your school, so what kind of mistakes have you made more students? So, every chapter, there are some common errors, mistakes. Hmm. Hmm. Now, in case of the first chapter, if I take, uh, finding the LCM and HCF. The child knows how to find the LCM and HCF. But uh, when they do the uh, prime factorization, so if the mistake what we have seen is like uh, the calculation mistake. If one of the factor which they are taking it wrong, the multiplication uh, factor, then HCF gone. Though their method is right, but because of that small calculation, that, that is what we have seen in that first chapter. And then the second chapter, uh, the questions of the polynomials, mm. they have to understand the basic concept, standard form of a polynomial. Mm. If uh, then children, most of the children know mm. the uh, quadratic polynomials of the form ax square plus bx plus c. But if it is not given in that form, if suppose it is given in like some, something like x square minus 3, mm. then the child get confused. Where is the third term? Uh, though the child knows how to, I mean, simplify it and how to apply the concept of uh, uh, the sum of the zeros and all that. Yeah. If this particular thing they are missing, then the problem goes wrong. Okay. This is one thing. So, uh, finally, I mean, you have of course, time management, mm. ke, ke, you know, they should attempt the case-based questions first. Mm. But in terms of time management, would you say that itna time MCQs, Haan, pe lagana sure. chahiye, itna time case-based questions, pe itna three mark, how would you divide that? Yeah, definitely. They, they should plan. And that comes only through the practice, practice. of the sample papers. Yes. So, uh, as I was suggesting, if they do it from the section B, mm. so there are five marks questions. So, mm. they can spend up to maximum eight, uh, eight to ten uh, minutes, minutes for per question. Mm. So, and then uh, three coming to the three marks, less than that, mm. that means uh, three to five uh, minutes, minutes per, per, question. per question. Then again, two marks. It should not be more than uh, three minutes. Yes. And coming to the two marks questions, mm. uh, I mean, sorry, one mark question that is yeah, MCQ. MCQs. So there are, there are some questions in MCQ where they can simply get the answer, but mm. there are some calculative 
So for calculation, they can take up to hmm. three minutes. Hmm. But the rest of the questions, they have to uh, try to get the answer hmm. uh, within one to two minutes. And all the rough work has to be done on the same page, page. as it, so that yeah they can correlate yes, it better yes. instead of doing it on the last last page. page. That is, and as uh, the CBSC paper answer scripts, they are. Uh, like uh, the horizontal type, yeah. not the vertical. Yes. So they, are, they have got an space. ample spacing for the rough work and all that. Right. So uh, when the reading time is given, when they are, uh, give the time to fill the, all the details and all that, they can draw the margins, margins. Uh, yeah, for doing the rough work. Perfect. And uh, here one more thing I want to suggest, what we have observed while the, the board corrections and all that, when the child is, uh, I mean, writing the solution mm -hmm. and is uh, going to the next page, if it is not completed in the same page, is going, Sometimes you know, what happens is the number which they carry out to the next page, yeah, that is taken wrong and as a result they lose. The rest of the So yeah, so whenever they start a new question, especially the long answer questions, they have to see that they start from a fresh, fresh page. page. That will help them okay. uh, to yes. avoid these errors yes. and all that. Okay, great tips, a lot of details. Thank you very much. I'm sure the students will gain immensely from this. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.